hello everyone welcome to natural skincare school in this uh, video i'm going to show you how to test the ph of your liquid soap it's very important to check the ph of liquid soap so as to make it a bit compatible with uh, the skin remember uh, pota uh, potassium uh, soap okay liquid soap remember we make liquid soap with potassium hydroxide koh okay so when you make a soap with potassium hydroxide you don't expect the pH to be neutral or to be seven or you know to be anything you know less than around maybe maybe sometime 10.3 or 10.5 so if you check the pH of your liquid soap and it is in between 9 to 10.5 you're good to go do not bother yourself about trying to adjust the pH because the process of adjusting the pH you might really mess up so that's my advice to you soap makers so the first thing you want to do i always advise uh, people when you make your liquid uh, your liquid soap remember you make it first thing it's going to turn into a paste that is the the first uh, place to check for the to do the clarity test the clarity test is like you take a bowl and take a paste of soap and put it in uh, water if it's clear enough you know that's fine so that's very important and that you have to make sure you do when you are uh, making soup so i hope by now you know what clarity test is clarity test is you take your soap paste and check it in water put it inside water if it comes out clear that means it's good to go but uh you don't need to worry too much about clarity test if you did not use too much of uh, um, potassium hydroxide in your soap now how do you check the ph of your soap you know a lot of people do use phenophthalein no you don't really need to use this to check the pH of your soap because you wouldn't get accurate written. The best way to check the pH of your soap is to use a pH meter. As a cosmetic formulator, I use pH meter a lot and I think a lot of soap makers do not know this. So get yourself a pH meter. I recommend HANA pH meter because I use it a lot. So check uh, in the link this in the description box below for where to get your own HANA meter at a good price. So I do check, I mix, most of you know me uh, that I make a lot of cosmetic products, right? But I make a lot of natural soap. I make solid soap. I make liquid soap. So the project that I'm recently doing is natural liquid soap that will be pH balanced. So I made one now. I basically check the pH of my soap after dilution. I do not, I'm not a type that I like to check the pH when it's at the paste level okay it's more of like a lot of work so you want to first dilute your soap okay or what you want to do is just finish when you finish the dilution phase okay that's when you check the ph so how do you take the ph of your soap forget what you've been hearing here is the proper way to check the ph of your soap so take a scale don't worry about uh phenophthalene of course it's going to it's going to turn pink so that's not how to check the ph Put that aside get yourself a scale okay then take a cup then you're going to measure five gram of your diluted uh, paste okay i have one here i'm going to use this to make a video shortly so i don't want to bother it too much but you're going to take five this has steric acid so i'm going to use this because i want to use that to make a video shortly so what you're going to do now is just take five gram of your diluted soap. You might look as if this is more diluted. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just in your own case, just take five gram, measure five gram of your diluted soap. I hope by now you know more about dilution. Uh, if you do not know, please take properly go for a soap making course. So five gram of a diluted soap and 45 gram of water making 50 gram keep in mind five gram of diluted soap with 45 gram of water okay then we're going to mix that well you can use a stirrer if you want to learn more about soap making and about cosmetic formulation this is a channel for you so turn on your ph meter okay and I think I have to rinse my pH meter. 
Make sure you rinse your pH, your pH meter must be clean. Then you turn it on and uh, put it inside the diluted soap solution and check. Um, pH meter for cosmetic formulation, we use this a lot, so it takes a while to come up, but patient is virtue. Patient is golden, so I want you to be patient and uh, as you do this. So we're going to wait until this uh, little reading here stops. Then we're going to know the exact pH of this soap. Now the pH is 10.9. You see, I always recommend the pH of 10, of 9 to 10.5, okay? That is the, some people don't mind because naturally soap, the pH reduces with H, okay? As your soap paste age, the pH reduces. Now, so that is how to check the pH of your soap. So now that you know the pH is 10.9 like we did the other time, it's now time to lower the pH. Is it really necessary to lower the pH of your soap? Well, uh, to satisfy her curiosity, I always encourage people to try to lower the pH. And if you cannot lower, if you have trouble lowering the pH, what you can do is that you're going to allow your soap to age. Okay? The pH of soap reduces as at age, okay, because the, um, the concentration of the of the remaining KOH, any little leftover that's there, we reduce with H. So it's going to make the soap more, you know, better. It's just like the solid soap that we make so bad with uh, NO, the NaOH, sodium hydroxide. With time, it dries up and, you know, it, it looks more better. So it's the same for liquid soap. So sometimes you don't have to worry too much as long as you do not use excess um, KOH. I always recommend it to my, my students that you use 2% super fat when you are making soap. You ask me, oh, that's too low. Don't worry about all the, all, all, the, uh, all, all the stuff you come across. Do not worry about it. There are a lot of wrong information on the net, trust me. Make it 2% super fat. That's all I can say for your soap making. Um, that's all I can say. Just make it 2% super fat and you're going to use KOH at 90% purity okay and i think that's sh that should be your right okay um water to koh make it two to one that's that's simple um, so in my next video i'll show you how to lower the ph of the soap using